Assalamu alaikum hello everyone this is Injila Shafat and I welcome you back to my channel hope you are all doing good in our recent topic we have completed the basics of computer tomography with the generations of computer tomography so today our topic will be components of computer tomography so students in the components of computer tomography there are two major systems that work together so to complete the scanning process in ct scanner first one is the imaging system the second one is the image display recording and storage system let's discuss them one by one so discussing the imaging system imaging system is present in the scanner room means the room where the patient's body is being scanned under ct scanner and in the scanner room there is present gantry assembly and the patient table now the second major component of the ct scanner that is the patient display recording storage and computer and all these things are done and the computer are present in the operators area so this is the area where occupational radiographer is present and where from he scans the patient's body with the help of ct scanner so when the body is being scanned the data being obtained is being displayed on the computer screen or we can say on the display of computer so it means computer records displays and it stores the data being obtained by the occupational radiographer by scanning the patient's body here we can see that the computer and the ct scanner other components work together so to obtain the radiographic image now let's discuss these systems one by one starting with the first one that is the imaging system Let's understand the purpose of this imaging system first. So, imaging system helps to produce X-rays. It shapes and filters the X-ray beam. It detects, or we can say, it measures the radiations that are being passed through the patient. Last, it converts the transmitted photons. Now, we will discuss the components which are present in the imaging system. This imaging system is present in the gantry assembly and the components which are present in the gantry assembly are the x-ray tube, generator, collimator, filter, detector and the detector electronics which is known as DAS. When we talk about x-ray tube and generator, they both uh, just produce x-ray B. Collimator helps in the slice thickness of the um, uh, image and also it restricts the scattered x-ray beams next is the filter which protects the patient from the uh, low energy x-ray beams and it just uniform the beam detector next is the detector which captures the x-ray photons and converts those x-ray photons into electrical signal last the detector electronics it converts the electrical signal into digital this gantry assembly is a moving frame and the rotational components in this assembly includes the slip ring and the positioning laser lights. So the first component of the gantry that's the x-ray tube from which the x-rays are being produced. So the x-ray tube has got a high heat capacity. It is made up of modern tubes which is very large and heavy. It has got external cooling so it has got the oil heat exchanger. High speed rotation of the anode is present there, means the anode is rotating in a very high speed. Heat units here are 3.5 to 5 million heat units, mean heat capacity is 3.5 to 5 million heat units. Focal spot size of the X-ray tube is being determined by the size of the filament and cathode which is being determined by the manufacturer. Second component of the gantry is the generator which is present inside it. And it supplies the power to X-ray tube so that X-ray tube can produce electrons which are needed to produce X-ray photons. So actual power supply is provided to the filament of X-ray tube so that filament can uh, produce high energetic electrons which, are, which get accelerated towards the anode and where from the X-ray photons are being produced. So the power supply of the generator is 30 to 60 kilowatts and the exposure techniques are ranging from 80 to 140 kilovolts and 30 to 200 milliamperes now the third component of the gantry that is the collimators they can be used either in the tube source which are known as tube source collimators where they can restrict the beam to the slice of interest 
and next collimators which can be used about the patient they are known as prepatient collimators they just maintain the width of the beam as it travels through the patient and the last one is the post patient predetector collimators they are the collimators which are used below patient and above the detector and they are used for proper beam width at the detector and to reduce of the scattered photons at detector fourth component of the gantry is the filter which protects patient from low energy photon and it provides a more uniform beam means it hardens the x-ray beam the filters are made up of either aluminium or they can be made up of teflon so that they can shape the beam which beam x-ray beam fifth component of the gantry is the detector which is known as image receptor so the work of image receptor or detector is to collect the alternated photon energies and to convert it into an electrical signal which will then be converted to a digital signal for a computer construction firstly you need to know that when the beam travels through a patient it gets alternated means it gets absorbed and scattered by the anatomical structure it passes through and after that the alternated photon energies are being collected through the detector so these detectors can be made up of either crystal or ionizing gas when they struck by x-ray photon they produce light or electrical energy so there are two types of uh, detectors being used first one is the scintillation or we can call it solid state and another one is the xenon gas detectors So scintillation detectors use crystal that fluoresces when struck by x-ray photon which produces light energy. Sixth component of the gantry is the detector electronics which is known as data acquisition system. It receives the weak signal from detector and it amplifies those signals and that provides digital information to the computer so that the computer reconstructs those signals. Now let's talk about the second part or second component that is present in the uh, scanner room and is included in the imaging system that is the patient couch means table on which the patient is being put for a scanning purpose so this table or we can say this patient couch should be strong safe and hygienic and it should be made up of radiolucent material the couch top is made up of carbon fiber so that low absorption of x rays is there because of the um, composition of carbon fiber its weight is uh, 450 pounds and total travel is 180 cm its speed is 25 mm per second now let's talk about the second major system in ct scanner that is the image display recording storage system which is included in the operators area so in operators area computer is present on all these things are done with the help of computer so computer receives the digital data from dsa and those digital data are being reconstructed into cross sectional images and those images are just received by a computer and represented on the uh, display of computer or we can say screen of computer and these images can be manipulated processed like windowing can be done enhancement of the images can be done zoom and 3d reconstruction is present and much much more so students this is all about today's topic components of computer tomography thank you for watching take care